my name is Ahmad and um, I am actually in Malacca yeah, for a um, for these three nights stay mm. basically I'm, I'm, I'm today this is a Sunday so this will be my third day tomorrow will be my last day um, bit of history of uh, my trip to uh, Malacca this year uh, the reason I would like to uh, continue with uh, uh, with my trip up to the uh, West Malaysia, West Peninsula, is because that I like to fulfill my dream of uh, riding solo uh, all across the Malaysian states. Uh, but um, the thing is, I would like to ride motorcycle, my Super 4, uh, along the, the coastal line, not the inner part of the country. So basically, I'll be covering places like um, Malacca, uh, of course, uh, Pahang, mm, then uh, probably Kuantan, then Kelantan, Terengganu, and then Kelantan. Then if, uh, if I'm permissible, uh, I will, will also like to uh, ride into the um, Thailand country, country of Thailand, uh, covering places like Nitiwat, uh, uh, Natiwat, Nitiwat, and then uh, Songkla, and then covering places like uh, Hat Yai. So before Hat Yai, there's one place, I can't remember the place. So I'm going to that place first, then Hat Yai, and then I'm going to stop at Hat Yai. I'm, I'm not going to go further than that because uh, it will like kind of creep into the my timeline yeah so i give myself about one month plus minus you will never know so uh so basically i'll be covering from hat yai i'm gonna come back to the malaysian state uh per list yeah per list and then um uh, i'm gonna go into pinning yeah that's my, my my favorite place so um i'm gonna write along the pinning bridge yeah pinning bridge uh, and then stay for a few days so the only states that i mentioned to you is all uh, i would say probably around one or two sorry two days two days three uh, three days two nights if, if it's good if that place is nice and i need to cover more areas uh maybe i'm um, talking about places of attraction uh, i will will stay about four days three nights huh? then after that from Penang, i will come down to pera ipo then uh, then if um, there are some places which i would I would allow to go to uh, within my, my, my time frame and I'm talking about the inner side so if permissible if it is uh, if uh, if my time is right and um, everything is okay I will also like to uh, touch on uh, Cameron Highland yeah yeah one of my places that I like to go to Cameron Highland uh, Genting yeah Fraser Hill just touch on Fraser Hill and then come back down to KL yeah so either I go to KL first or I go to all these places first, then I come down to KL. Yeah. So coming down to KL, KL will spend about probably three days, four days. Yeah. And then after KL, then I will come in down to the west coast of the Malaysia uh, states. So we're talking about probably Kuala Lumpur. Then uh, before Malacca, there's, uh, there's a few other places, I think, I can't remember all these places yeah so uh, then Malacca then Batu Pahat Mua then coming down to the um, the western coast uh, of Malaysia yeah so these are the uh, some of the states that I've actually be covering so I won't be covering places like the Selangor uh, Pahang no I, I won't be touching all that places but it's a good it's a good experience I like I like this experience so so that's the reason I'm coming back. So coming back to Malacca. So this is one of my places that uh, I like to uh, use as a platform, just like I did for Mursing. And the best part is I fell down again. Yeah, yeah, coincidentally. So before my trip uh, to Malacca, before my two days trip to Malacca, I fell down. This time it's not me. Uh, it's, it's me, uh, partly me, but this guy is coming in very fast. So he knocked onto me. I lose control. I fell down. He, of course, not that hurt. His bike is okay. My bike 
yeah, we have problem. So send it for repair. Uh, miraculously, I managed to get it on time, but there's some a little bit of hiccups uh, on the uh, the odometer part of the part of the odometer on the right side, where the fuel gauge, the fuel gauge, uh, and my timing, the timer, the, the clock is not that important. Uh, but the most important is the fuel gauge. Just imagine, eh, going back, going to Malacca without knowing your fuel gauge like uh, uh, how much you have yeah and this is Malaysia it's not Singapore where right? every 20 click then click you will have a petrol station so I got to be very very careful I got to be very um, judgmental in terms of my fuel tank so taken up on advice by the repair Alex from you 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 don't you yeah so uh he ex he advised me to just follow the crowd if there's any prahantian any places for you to rest rest and relax if you happen to see that place just 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 come in to stop your bike check your fuel tank need it be but tool station is there yeah so that's my gauge for now so when i come back to singapore i'll probably will uh fix that i will definitely need to fix that yeah so very costly very expensive but uh, then again i fell down second time okay so yeah so let's come back zoom in now to the third day i'll be going off the grid i do not want to stay in the tourist three places anymore that was yesterday that was nice that was enough yeah so i'm gonna go around the Malacca this time around Malacca explore the urban side why because I can I got a bike so uh, inshallah uh, I will spend today exploring uh,